Guys, when it comes to survival, you have three hours to get out of extreme conditions, whether hot or cold. So today we're going to take a look at very simple uh, shelter systems that you can use just with a tarp and some paracord. Uh, you can use tent stakes, actually are much more convenient, but if you don't, you can use rocks or logs as well. Now guys, according to the size of your tarp, you need to check it against two trees. You want a flat area as level as possible. Uh, and enough paracord to go between those trees. Now these two trees actually, it's one of the flattest areas that we could find out here and it's more clear. Uh, there are a few sticks and stems, we're going to clear that off. Now here we have the tarp laid out and we have these eyelets and it's really important to be able to use these eyelets to run your paracord through. The first thing we're going to do is an A-frame. It's really simple. All these designs are very simple and you need to get to the middle of the tarp. First, first thing we're going to do is tie around the tree and uh, if you, you don't want to cut your paracord if possible, you want to keep it intact if you can. Uh, there's some ways that you can attach this to make it actually hold very well, but we're going to just attach it. And you want to have it obviously compared to your tarp. So you want to check all those things out. And um, you know, it's just trying things out. You want to get it fairly tight. We're going to bring in a good knot, just lock it down. Now here we have the middle eyelet. We're going to drive it into the eyelet and underneath the tarp itself and we're going right down the middle. Next we're going to bring it through the eyelet underneath. Now we're here at the other side of the tree. We're just going to bring our paracord around and actually we have enough to go around twice. Now here we have the tarp across the paracord and again this is just going to be an A-frame. So we want it low enough to the ground to be able to put our stakes in. So that's one thing you need to test. All right, we've got our stake in. It's a little bit different. We didn't have the small ones that'll fit through the eyelet, but this will work. Go ahead and make sure that it's good and tight, just like that. All right, so this is your A-frame. Uh, you've got your tents, but you can also use rocks again, which, you know, use whatever you've got. There are other places you could actually tie this down. Ends are open, so you could get some breeze and different things, but you could definitely get in the center of this and really be protected from the elements. This is the A-frame, and honestly, it's really easy to do. Now, this next one is what they call the body bag, and we're actually going to have part of the tarp is the floor, especially in rainy conditions. It's been raining for a long time. This is going to give you some protection from the ground and from the top but it is gonna make it smaller inside. Now we're gonna bring this one much lower to the ground because we're gonna have less tarp to be able to use for our shelter. Now with this one, because the eyelets aren't in a particular place, we're gonna just lay it over the paracord. We've got it tied very low, and then we're gonna use the stakes to keep tension and keep the shape of the tarp. Now you can see we've got this pretty low. We're gonna use rocks because there's no eyelet here. So I'm gonna put a rock just on the tip We'll probably put a rock in the center and on the end. So we're gonna go ahead and solidify these. We had to use two stakes. This is what gives us tension and it'll hold against the other side. So we have the rocks on one side and then we have the tent pegs or the stakes on the other side. Now this one's called the body bag for a reason. <laughs> There's not a lot of room in there, it's pretty tight. But again, you do have protection from underneath and you can definitely, one person can get in here uh, and then crawl in and you've got a lot of room, even for your gear. Next we're going to try the envelope, which is a little bit of a more advanced lean-to. Okay, we tied off each end to give some tightness across the top. Uh, if we just ran it through the eyelets, it would sag and it moved around. So this, this made it somewhat taut. And then down here at the bottom, we put spikes on either end. And so this gives us a floor, but then it also gives us some shelter from the wind and cold weather coming in. Here around the back, we just put some rocks just to hold it down. Uh, there weren't eyelets to run stakes through, but you could obviously do that if you needed to. You could definitely make this a little bit lower, bring it out and have more space, maybe even to keep rain off, but you're not gonna have anything in the front. This is mainly for a windbreak. A lot of times if there's cold wind coming in a certain direction, this will just help you to get out of the wind. And again, we have the floor in the front to keep you out of wet weather or whatever. Uh, and to protect your body some from losing heat into the ground. And this is called the envelope. All right, this is the straight up lean-to. It's really simple. Tie off your ends on either side. You want to get it up high and then just bring the back all the way down. Now we have stakes on the back. I have a rock sitting in the middle. This gives you a lot of room right here. Uh, if there is some rain, you're going to get some shelter from it. But uh, dirt floor, but definitely very simple. The most simple to do. We have our stakes, we have a rock, 
make it as taut as you can and it just gives it a lot of stability especially when winds blowing it's gonna help if it's not really tight it could get caught up in the wind so this is a very simple operation and this is the lean tube now this one's called the windshield wedge it's a lot like the lean tube but it does have this front protector on it and uh, you can get under here still have the ground but you have some shelter coming up top especially with rain and wind coming from the other side we have each side tied down pulled as tight as we can and then we have a tied off here at the top and then we have it again tied here and then tied at the top and then we have stakes on either side and of course you can reinforce it with the different eyelets to make this even stronger because you don't want wind necessarily coming up under here and this is called the windshield wedge this is the rainfly, which is a lifted up A-frame. Uh, instead of having stakes here, we have paracord tied off and then stakes down below. Uh, and it gives it up off the ground. You have some air that can come through, especially if you're in hot conditions. And then we have each of the ends tied off with paracord just to make it tight. They don't run all the way through. But all four ends are tied off, and so it gives you a little bit of room. And again, you have a little bit of breeze coming through underneath. But it'll give you shelter if it's raining. And this again is the rainfly. Now this is the shade sail. Uh, it's just very simple. You use the corners, tie it off here, and it kind of is catty corner. And so you use the corners on the ground, use the two corners to tie up top. And so we have our stakes right here placed in. Then we have each side tied off. And then of course we have a stake on the other side. We have it lifted off the ground. This will give you some shade from the sun, but also if it's raining or whatever, and it gives you some air underneath. As you can see, there's a lot of room here, and again, you have air that can come underneath, protect you from the rain, from the sun, uh, very simple shelter, easy to do, especially if you only have two stakes, and that could limit your choices. If you only have one tree, this is the diamond fly. Uh, we just have a paracord on one tree, have it attached. At the bottom, we have a stake, and we have two stakes here, and we have a lot of the tarp just tucked up under, which will give you a little bit of ground support toward the back. But pretty simple honestly this one takes a little bit of figuring out you've got some of the tarp coming up under so that's going to keep the breeze out and you know whether it will keep you protected from the ground but definitely give you some protection from the outside but this is the diamond fly and really great for one person so guys again simple tarp some paracord maybe a few tent stakes this will get you out of the weather it'll protect you and uh, whether you're just lost or whether you're on the bug out uh, you need to know these things to be able to make yourself safe and keep yourself guarded against the weather. If you're serious about prepping and survival, check out Survival Dispatch Insider. It's one of the best resources on the web, very credible information from a lot of the top survival experts in the world. Uh, we upload one video that's exclusive to the Insider every week. I'll have a link down below in the description. Check it out. Be strong. Be of good courage. God bless America. Long live the Republic. So you have each of your ends. Uh, see. Good. Now this one is the shade sh shade cell. This is the shade shell. <laughs> now this is the shade. And as you can see, it's very roomy. It is a lot. Run around the leaves before. Sorry, I was I lost my balance and you started talking. Well, so I wouldn't even say that you smiled. And I was like, yeah, this fine. Especially if you only have two steaks. You need a pork chop. Oh yeah, baby. Man, this is a lot more work than you think. <laughs>